Real by Stephen Thomas. In a generation that has become so far from reality, a generation with increased knowledge and technological advances, a generation overfilled with emotions and opinions, it has left just a few, a very special and chosen few, who know what is real. There have been countless attempts of people preaching what they believe is true, most people for their own advancement of an agenda, or to build a large following, self-glory, really. There have been many who have been misled, even knowing the scriptures, but viewing them from the wrong perspective. In a country founded supposedly on quote-unquote Christian values, and who are so high strung on enforcing the law, even by a judge in a robe, who will make you swear on a holy Bible, this fact remains, and that is that America has forgotten the laws, statutes, commandments of the Most High God of Israel, but raises this one and only question. Did they ever know them? You see, in this life, a lot of things aren't fair. On this side, we never understand the full meaning of everything all at one time. But eventually, it'll pretty much all make sense. It isn't just about one person or even people at that, but more so about the one who put everything in motion, who is above all things, who is before all things, and who is even after all things. He doesn't have just a plan down here. He has a canvas that is almost finished. And as the artist, he doesn't need anyone's approval, anyone's opinions, or anyone's assistance. The overall painting is beautiful. So where do we start thinking? The beginning? As in the very beginning or just the beginning of our lives? You see, it's deep. It's very deep. It all started back in Genesis, way back in the book. The word was taken, made in another plane, one we never knew. You see, the word is spirit. The spirit is the word, and the word is always with his people. Everybody has a word. Everybody has an opinion. But not everybody has the truth. Not everybody can be real. Only the ones who are chosen to be set apart for reasons unknown to many. What's real will always be revealed at the proper time. In order to hear the truth, not just factual truth, but crystal clear, cold wind blowing on a stormy night type of truth, the truth always has and always will come from above, higher than any nation, greater than any name, deeper than any ocean, and as majestic as any star. You see, the truth is beautiful, yes, but the truth requires understanding. Understanding requires patience. Patience often comes with hardships. But with hardships, the opportunity to trust the unknown, but remember the one who is above all things. You see, what's real will always rise up in the end. And will always be forever and ever.